Hey, good morning, guys. How are y'all today? Good. Chris, the, the video has gone viral of what's described as a fight at the state fair. I talked to Commander Tom Oster just a moment ago who was there, and he says it w- was just teenagers kind of slapping at each other, that it's kind of been sensationalized by share, being shared by you know thousands of people around town. Your response to what happened at the fair? There was a small fight, not a huge fight, a small fight at the fair Saturday night. It was being described in media as riot style. This has nothing, resembles a riot in no way, shape, or form. It was a small group of teenagers had an argument on the carnival late Saturday night, and uh, the argument left, left, uh, led into an altercation. And yes, there were some fists flying. Uh, two police officers were very close to the scene and were there in a matter of seconds. Additional officers immediately started coming. Uh, Shortly after that fight began, police officers grabbed those teenagers, brought them to the police command bus in handcuffs. They identified those teenagers at the police command bus, took all their information down, their names and who they are and descriptions. They ended up releasing these teenagers to their parents and they banned them from the coming back to the fair and told them if they are to come back to the fair that they would be arrested. It was handled very swiftly and appropriate, just like the Shreveport Police Department should do. That's why we hire very large numbers of Shreveport police officers to work the fair so that they can respond to an incident like this very swiftly as they did. It was not a riot style. It was not a huge fight. It was teenagers being teenagers that had an argument and altercation. Uh, It was handled very appropriately. And to be quite honest with you, if our teenagers in Shreveport uh, handled their altercations this way, Shreveport would be a much safer place. Speaking of Mr. Uh, Mr. Chris, when we talked to Mr. Tom a couple of seconds ago with the SPD, he said you guys, his quote was above and beyond security-wise at this year's fair. What did he mean by that? Explain to us. As you guys may know, Shreveport police officers work special events around Shreveport. They're not forced to do so. They can voluntarily sign up to work the Rebel, to work Mudbug, to work the Town Square event, to work the fair. The standard rate of pay, the city policy, is that police officers are paid $30 an hour. The supervisor is paid $35 an hour, unless it's an alcohol event then the rate goes up by $5. Unfortunately, going into the fair, we didn't have very many takers, not very many volunteers. The schedule was not getting full into the few days leading up to opening of the state fair. I panicked. I called all the other law enforcement agencies around to try to supplement security because we were too light going into the state fair. The other law enforcement agencies could not respond to my request or would not respond to my request other than the Caddo Sheriff's Department who are working our parking gates. We were left with no other option. The State Fair is paying Shreveport police officers $50 an hour and $55 an hour for the supervisor in order to have adequate policing at the State Fair. And we're comfortable with our decision because we had to. We cannot open a State Fair with inadequate security. Once we raised the rate to $50, the schedule was filled in a matter of minutes. The police officers flooded the special service office to sign up to work the fair, and our schedule got full, which is a very large schedule of police officers, especially on a Saturday night. Chris, you've seen this video. It's been shared all over social media. Uh, People are making the comments they make on social media about, oh, it's never safe, blah, blah, blah. How do you respond to those folks who, how safe is the fair? Is it okay to bring the family? What is your message to these people who say, oh, here goes another incident at the state fair? I am a father of three children. My children come to the fair. They're not in my office. They're not with police officers. They're not hanging under dad's arm. They go out in the fair and they have a good time. Do you think I would bring my kids to an event that's not safe? I think I'm a pretty decent father, and I think I protect the interests of my family. I would never bring my kids anywhere where I felt that their safety was compromised. The fair is a very safe place to take your family. I will admit, occasionally late on, especially on a Saturday night at the fair, 
sometimes there are a small number that come into the fair that may run into other youth. Evidently, they have problems, and a fight can happen. We've never had a shooting incident inside the fair. We've never had a riot inside the fair. The most that we have ever had, knock on wood, is a small fight or two on a Saturday night, late at night, in the Carnival Midway. And any time that has ever happened, we have a huge police force that swiftly, in a matter of seconds, takes care of it. You can't prevent somebody from having an altercation, that, but you can respond very quickly. Now, what we do to take extra security measures for the safety of families throughout our community is we have private security at both of our entrances with metal detectors. Every single person that walks into the fair gets scanned for knives or guns. I mean, we're taking all the measures to prevent unlawfulness. You can't 100% prevent a fight, but you can react to it very quickly. And that's exactly what happened. And that's the only only little incident that there's happened with a teenage fight with about, uh, there might have been 10 kids involved in that. I guess in a social media video that you're focusing on a fight with a handful of teenagers, I guess it can appear, appear to be larger than it is. But, but that's all it was, was a small fight with a small group of teenagers, and, and it was handled very swiftly.